was it like that you won the MVP this season? It's very, uh, very honorable moment for me. Uh, I worked very hard during the year. I had a lot of sacrifices of my family included. Uh, we had uh, crazy ups and downs this year. Uh, historical run with the uh, unbeaten in the last game day and the uh, MVP is just uh, the top the top of the very top for me. So uh, midway through the season you saw Martin, Kevin and Omid departed and everybody's telling that during that <laughs> time that when the club's probably in turmoil not not because of the things that happened inside of it but because of outside of it. But how's that how do you how do you summon them all you, to get their composure, to get them poised, even with kind, even with kinds of things like these? We have an outstanding coach uh, who deserves so much credit for this uh, historical run we had this year. And uh, midway to the season, like you said, when all these problems came up uh, for the club, he was the one uh, telling us on what to focus on and uh, he deserves so much credit for, for the title and uh, we are very proud and very honored to have him as a coach. So. Okay, so the first time you came here, I think 2011-2012, you were the, you were the Biasca's energy guy. But now 2019, you're now the leader for the national team, for Ceres, even your seven, seven team. So, do you think this MVP trophy is a testament of your evolution from yeah from being the energy guy to the new leader of the Nash of the Philippine football team? Eventually, uh, everybody gets older. Uh, I think I got more mature, more focused, more um, composed in those years, and the Philippine Football League helped me also bringing me to that level that I am right now. And um, yeah, all, all in all, I hope I can improve for for another. A uh, good season next year and the year after. Let's see how, how long my legs last. Well, technically, the, the season's not yet over. There's still, there's still the cup. Are yeah. you looking forward to sorry, sorry. sweeping the season already to the cup championship? Me personally, I wanna, I wanted to win two, two things this year, and an individual award. So one championship is wrapped up, one individual award is wrapped up. So I'm. I'm Hopefully we can get the cup and then there's also the sea games and the Ascals. So there's a lot of things to fight for this year. Uh, um, I will keep pushing and continue working. So speaking of the sea games, depending on the draw tomorrow, there's a possibility that service negos will be grouped with the national with the under 22 team. So looking forward to training them ahead of the, of the sea games. Yeah, uh, first of all, at first I have to make the cut in the sea game squad and then uh, I'm not sure where, where I will play, but I most likely I will play for Ceres uh, because, like I said, we want to win something else besides this. And uh, I hope the Sea Games team will prepare in those times when they are together very hard and focused because this is a group we can make it for the first time uh, to the semi finals, and that's a lot to work for. Okay, you mentioned that you're you're that you are going you're going for a spot in the under twenty two team. Does that mean you're being considered as one of the, the two so called average players for the national team? Yeah, this, this game. <laughs> Unfortunately I'm not the youngest anymore, but yeah, I have to be the overage, one of the overage. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. much. Thank you.